हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ दैट इज सॉलिड स्टेट आई एम योर होस्ट मनजोत सिंह हुज गोइंग टू टेक यू अलोंग विद दिस चैप्टर नाउ लेट्स बिगिन विद दिस चैप्टर दिस इज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ फ्रॉम द चैप्टर इट इज वेरी क्लियर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ स्टेट ऑफ मैटर इन दिस यस and that state state. of matter is nothing but solid तो एक चीज तो समझ में आ रही है कि दिस चैप्टर इज ऑल अबाउट अ पर्टिकुलर स्टेट ऑफ द मैटर सो वाई डोंट वी टेक अ मिनट ओवर हेयर एंड जस्ट हेल्प आर सेल्स रिकॉल दैट वॉट आर द डिफरेंट फेजेस ऑफ मैटर राइट टू डू सो आई ब्रॉट अ वेरी वेरी स्मार्ट पिक्चर ओवर हेयर एंड दैट इज दिस वी हैव बेसिकली three phases known phases on earth's atmosphere and then in the universe we have more two states plasma and bones einstein bones einstein is a very recent discovery all right but on the earth's atmosphere we are acquainted with solid state liquid state and gaseous state and if you remember in your chapter number 2 in your chapter number 2 we study about solutions solutions is basically nothing but more of liquid state so this is done in your chapter number 2 class 12th then if you remember in chapter number 5 class 11th we talk about gaseous state correct the chapter's name was states of matter but more of we talked about Three fourth of the chapter is about gaseous state and its properties, and then finally, one triangle part was left. One point of the triangle was left, and that was solid state, and that is basically your chapter number one in class twelfth. And as the diagram is depicting over here, these are basically the phases of matter which are interconvertible. these states are interconvertible among themselves and it's very very clear that if you want to go from solid to liquid you melt if you want to come back from liquid to solid you freeze a substance if you want to go from liquid to gas you evaporate if you want to come back you condense similarly solid to liquid direct is sublimation and gas to solid direct is deposition perfectly okay so these states are interconvertible and they are interconvertible because these states they depend why are these states existing because of two things that is nothing but forces of attraction among the particles and second is the thermal energy thermal energy and we all know that when you want to go from solid to liquid you basically raise the temperature of the substance similarly liquid to gas you once again raise the temperature and you convert liquid to gas and when you are increasing the temperature what actually is happening the force of attraction between these particles between the particles of the substances they are decreasing and hence you are able to convert from one state to another so it becomes very very important to understand at this stage that what basically is the difference between solid liquid and gas correct so let's bring about quickly a table which you are doing since standard 5th ye table standard 5th mein aapko introduce ho jata hai and that table only i have just tried to make it visible to you on the screen right now where you can see that on among the various properties i have tried to classify solid liquid and gas now if anybody a layman walking on the road asks you what is solid what is liquid what is gas then you being the scientific student should be able to explain that solid is that matter around you solid is that matter around you which has definite shape and definite volume yes these are the two main properties on which 
the liquid solid and gas differentiates similarly if you want to define liquid which does not have a definite shape but has a definite volume whereas in the case of gas they do not have definite shape they do not have definite volume they acquire the shape of the container and the volume of the container whereas liquid they acquire the shape of the container but the volume remains same whereas solid in that the shape as well as the volume remains same you talk about mass mass is going to be definite in all the three correct then rest of the properties i think they are self explanatory i do not need to read down the table over here so you can just see that volume based compressibility based fluidity based fluidity is nothing but the power of flow basically which is not possible in solids but it is possible in liquids and gases compressibility is very very important point just take care of this solids are incompressible liquids they are compressible but negligible and gases are highly compressible rigidity rigidity is nothing but the uh, strength basically i would say it's highly rigid in solids less rigid in liquids and not rigid in gases perfect diffusion diffusion is once again very similar to fluidity diffusion is nothing but tendency to flow diffusion in case of solid is slow liquid is fast and gases is extremely fast this is once again an important point the next point space between the particles very closely packed in case of solids less closely packed in case of liquids and least closely packed in gases in solids they are so closely packed that they can only vibrate vibrate around mean positions very very important they can vibrate around mean positions in case of solids correct and then finally the last point interparticle force that is strongest obviously in the solids that is why they are very very rigid slightly weaker in liquids and negligible interparticle force among the gaseous particles so this table becomes a very very important tool to understand the difference between solids liquids and gases among which two states that is liquid and gas we have completed in detail in two chapters one in class 12th one in class 11th now we are going to cover up the solids part correct but the question is the question is sir what is the importance of this chapter why do i need to read this chapter why do i need to learn the properties of the solids so to do so let me bring a very important figure on your screen oh yes this is the periodic table of elements right now in this periodic table if you see if if i'm trying to you know differentiate as solids liquids and gases i would say that nitrogen is a gas oxygen is a gas fluorine is a gas chlorine is a gas and these all are gases right so these are the gases part similarly if i talk about the liquids i would say bromine over here is a liquid the black ones which i am scratching out they are liquid generally at room temperature we are talking about mercury is a liquid and apart from that i don't think so any other is a liquid at room temperature basically so if you see only eight or nine elements they are in their liquid or gaseous state in general form in their elemental form most of the elements most of the elements in your periodic table they lie under the category that is nothing but solids obviously i'm talking about in the elemental form so this becomes very very important now it's it's crystal clear in the mind that why this chapter needs to be done why do we need to read about solids yes why do we need to know about the properties of the solids why do we need to understand that at microscopic level how does a solid packing is done 
सो दैट द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ दिस चैप्टर परफेक्टली ओके सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द चैप्टर बट बिफोर वी बिगिन विद द चैप्टर लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट विल बी द फ्लो ऑफ द चैप्टर the flow of the chapter will go like we are going to first talk about the characteristics of the solids which few of the characteristics we did in the table few i will be listing next we are going to talk about the classification of the solids how are solids basically classified then we'll talk about structure of solids in which we are going to see that how the particles in the solid state undergoes packing correct we are going to go at microscopic level and understand the structure of solids and mind it solids are generally three dimensional right and that's the reason this chapter would require a lot of imagination from your side you need to be creative to understand those 3d structures around you so i will try to make it as easy as possible for you by giving you the 3d structures over here in the videos but then you at the same time you have to be very imaginative to understand this chapter then the next flow will be packing in the solids that's basically we are going to talk about the efficiency of various types of packings yes solids do not pack in a single way there are various ways in which particles undergoes packing correct and then finally we are going to move towards the defects in solids that during this packing what are the particles how are they missed during the packing and those missed particles they actually are regarded as defects in the solids once we do, do this you are thorough with the chapters of solids and then finally once you learn about solids and their defects what is the final part is that you have to understand the properties of the solids and specifically two most important properties that is magnetic and electrical properties in this chapter we are going to talk about magnetic and electrical properties yes there are further various properties thermal properties conductive properties lots of properties of the solids but over here we are going to focus on two main that is magnetic and electrical so that will be the flow of the chapter and i would recommend that you understand this flow this flow chart why because this flow chart is going to help you make this chapter easy for you so let's begin with the first part that is characteristics of solids in characteristics of solids you need to understand we have already done that solids are the one which have definite mass volume and definite shape correct that's basically the definition of the solid then they have short intermolecular distances yes intermolecular distances between the particles they are very very short very very less correct and since intermolecular distances are less hence the intermolecular forces are very very strong that's the reason the intermolecular distances are less the constant particles remain fixed at their position and can only oscillate i told you just a moment ago i told you they can just vibrate vibrate or oscillate about their mean positions this is very very important mean positions solids are incompressible and since they are incompressible they are very very rigid rigidity ka matlab samajh mein aata hai yahan par rigidity means strength basically the hardness is that clear so since they are incompressible they cannot be compressed further why they cannot be compressed further very important very conceptual question because the intermolecular distances are very very short hence you cannot compress them any further because between the particles obviously when there is a force of attraction there is at the same time the force of repulsion also these particles over here which i am naming again and again these particles are basically nothing but atoms they can be molecules or they can be ions 
we know that from class 11th we know that that in chemistry in the world of chemistry at the molecular level you have particles named as atoms molecules and ions where ions are also of two types cations and anions yes cations are the positive ions and anions are the negative ions very very important is that perfectly okay and they are having high density that's the last characteristics of the solid over here so you need to understand this these points are very very important sometimes what happens is a surprising question is asked sometimes in the exams where they just tell you that only list the characteristics of the solid a two marker question and we we think that yaar bana lenge koi baat nahi kitni der lagti hai but when you try to make these points you make these points disastrous in your answers right so we have to we have to take care of the very very important part that is nothing but the technical language this is important so you need to understand that solids their characteristics how are these characteristics going to be written in your examinations and that's the reason i have included this slide over here perfectly okay all right so in this session we have just learned about the phases of the matter that solid liquid gas apart from gas we have two more that is plasma and bones einstein but at earth's atmospheric level we have three different states that is solid liquid and gas and we brought about a table differentiating between these three states of matter right then what is the importance of this chapter that we understood what is the importance of this chapter the importance is that in our periodic table out of 118 elements if we take out at max 18 elements also the 100 elements they are in their solid state then we made you understand what is the flow of the chapter going to be and in that flow we finished the first part that is nothing but characteristics of the solid so we meet up in the next lecture and we start with the types of solids and that's going to be a very very important theoretical part but it's going to be very interesting to understand that how solids are classified actually so wait for my next lecture to come till then take care bye bye